All right, guys, we're back. Let's see what we got in this mansion here. That's a very creepy picture there. Should I have one upstairs? This seems a bit more lively. Hello. Didn't exactly get explicit directions as to what to do once I got here, so... <laughs> yeah, um, same. I am so sorry. Where are my manners? My name is Stan. And you would be? Maddie. Maddie. Beautiful name. Short for... Madeline. Madison, actually. Ah. Middle name Lexington? <laughs> what? Midtown. The Big Apple, the, the city that never sleeps. Home to the most beautiful of women and fiendishly desperate of men. Madison Avenue, okay, got it. A fitting name for such a lovely lady. Apprehensive. Casual. Be apprehensive. This place is like super duper creep town, right? It's not just me. I was taking a look around before, and let's just say I'm surprised it hasn't been condemned by the local authorities. Yikes. Lights don't even seem to work right. How do you mess up lights? That's like basic modernity, right? Right. Yep. The state of this place doesn't exactly reflect well on our mysterious host. Oh, Stan, this is... Lynn Da Castle. I am... Such a huge fan of your work. I, I am I, I'm at a loss for words. I am just humbled by your presence. Uh, okay, sure. Bruno Stanford III, at your back end call, only to call me Stan. Right. <laughs> sure. Truly an honor. <laughs> Truly. <sighs> uh, so what's going on right now? Uh,. Well, I think our new friend here is familiar with some of my little oh, movies. Hold on, hold on. Your movies are a lot of things, but they are not little. You're a filmmaker? Uh, yeah. I've made some movies. <laughs> a lot more than some movies, if I may say so. Have you heard of a little film called Buried by the Break of Dawn? Blood Point. Blood Benders. The blade may swing in both directions, but death only moves in one. Um, no. Sorry. Wait, didn't you two come here together? Oh, no. I mean, yeah, we drove in together, but only the last couple miles. I had some car trouble. I see. I'm sorry. I thought that you were Miss Castle's assistant. <laughs> nope. Just me. Wait, should I be flattered or insulted by that? Oh, well, <laughs> I didn't mean. I'm just flattered you think I have an assistant. I'm sure if you did, she would not be nearly as charming as, as Miss Avenue. Your last name is Avenue? Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> what? Did I miss something? Only that we are at a loss at what to do in the absence of our host. Wherever they may be. I guess we should keep looking around. I mean, why not at this point? Maybe our host has left something out for us. All right, let's see. Look around. Okay. What do you do, Stan? Oh, I won't bore you with all the details, but... It involves money and fast cars and trading. But nothing illegal, obviously. Huh. Oh, obviously. Movie poster inside a cabinet. Hey, either of you heard of murder mail? Holy shinobi. You're kidding, right? No. Not the only one around here who's familiar with it. Wait. This is one of yours? It's one of the first things I ever worked on. Super low budget. We had no idea what we were doing. It should never have seen the light of day. I still wish it hadn't. Why? Well, things tend to get blown out of proportion. I heard it was only screened a few times. 
and each time the audience flew into a rabid, murderous rage. No, no, come on. Don't try and deny it. The film is legendary. I think people were just bored out of their minds. Look, I'm sure they made you sign all sorts of non-disclosure agreements, like... What? Who? The government. When they confiscated and destroyed every existing copy of the film. Oh, give me a break. I heard they kept at least one, just in case. And the CIA has got this secret lab called Leary's Memorial Institute where they use it for enhanced interrogation. How do you know all this? I'm a fan. And it pays to know this kind of stuff. Hmm. Uh, is that supposed to happen? I don't know, but I am digging the theatrics. <laughs> Good. I see you three have wasted no time getting acquainted with each other. I'm so very sorry for the delay in my arrival. There are a great many things that require my attention at the moment, and I would hate to have to deprive you of my full attention while we are together. <clears throat> ah, yes, and speaking of needing attention... Uh, all dried up, are we? We can't have that. After all, you're far too capable of a negotiator when you're sober. And twice that when I'm not. <laughs> Madison. Would you also like a refreshment? Uh, it's just Maddie. Oh, my mistake, Maddie it is. Oh, it's fine. Nonsense. Never be shy about what you call yourself. Your name is who you are. That's important to remember. And who are you? I call myself Augustine Lieber. Nice to meet you, Augustine Lieber. Now that we are properly introduced, I must again offer you a drink. Reluctant, relax. Hmm. Let's be relaxed. Sure. Yeah. I'll just have whatever Stan's having. Of course. And you? No thanks. I think you may like it. Never had a drink in my life. I don't plan on starting now. I know it's been quite a long journey for you all to come here today. I hope, despite that, you'll find it'll all be worth the effort. Guess that's up to you now, isn't it? I suppose it is. Well, I'll show you mine. Do show me yours. Aren't we a bit eager? <laughs> Manners, Mr. Stamford. Not all of us are caught up yet. Your drink. Thanks. You okay? Yeah, no, it's... it's nothing. <laughs> Brass tacks, Augustine. I did not come all this way just for drinks. What's in there? Look, I don't know what you two have come to sell her, but... I just happen to have one of the most sought-after pieces of rare cinematic ephemera to ever hit the market. Well, that right there is the only surviving segment of film from the original camera shot celluloid of one Murder Mill. The earliest known work of a certain noted Artur, allegedly. Should be worth a small fortune. So I'm told. Hate to burst your bubble. Damn it. There goes its one of a kind value. Not quite. I... I... I never knew what it was from. You told me I had to bring this to you in person if I wanted to make it... I will keep the promises I made to you. All of you. What if I don't want to sell? Well, that would be your choice. But after 40 years of pain, why would you choose to live with more? I have to apologize again, but there are urgent matters I must attend to in my private reliquary. 
You are welcome to continue to make yourselves at home until I return. I really think we need to finish discussing... All in due course, Ms. Castle. We were so close. I could feel the entity's force, its power pulsating through the steel mill. Until Sam Green's petty act of bravado ruined everything. The ritual disrupted. My key mangled. Yet Frank Stone didn't die that night. His essence was seared into the very foundations of the mill. An endless, agonized nightmare. I had to find the right means to awaken him. Just one thing you bastards will just never understand. You can tie us up. You can torture us. You can put us through every hellish trial your sick imaginations can come up with. But you'll never defeat our spirit. Just that what you don't know is uh, us humans, we're made of tougher stuff than you could ever dream of in your wildest nightmares. What? No! Oh, dear Lord, you say you want me to betray my own sister? You promise to let me live and go free? This is outrageous! This is unconsciousable! Hmm. Leave her alone. I'd rather die. Uh, let's do desperate. Leave her alone, damn you! She's innocent in all this! She doesn't know anything! You, you can't do this. You just can't. I might be down, but I'm not out. Not yet. Oh, it's a movie. Hi. I thought this was real. I was being cut in half by a giant alien saw blade. So you think if you were getting cut in half, you'd really shout, Oh God, the unspeakable agony! Yeah? Is it what I wrote in the script? Well, no, but... Please, stick to your lines. The writers always write. That's why they're called a writer. Uh-huh. <clears throat> I stayed in character the whole time. That's good, right? Yeah, it's something. I'm sure we can use at least, like, part of it. How do we do, Linda? Usable? Uh, let me check the gate. You can check the gate on these little Super 8s? Um, no, actually. The lens doesn't come off, so... Somebody just wanted to show off all the fancy new crap they learned from the film production books in the library. I'm just trying to take the craft seriously. The craft, geez, Louise. <laughs> so, are, are we good, or what? Yeah. I mean, it looked great. How did the blood gag look? Um, well... Linda, you did get the blood gag, didn't you? 
I mean, it's really all about how Jaime sells it. I did really sell it. Yeah, but did you get any of it in frame? You kind of see it splash up in Jaime's face a little. Oh, Linda! I told you, I wanted a wide close-up that shows off our super cool bloody arm gag and Jaime's face acting. That's just an extreme shot of Jaime's face acting. I was in the moment. I have to be allowed to express my artistic instincts with the camera, too. And there's no such thing as a wide close-up. Or an extreme shot. Or face acting. It's just acting. Does anyone even care that I'm the director? Uh, let's do this. Linda, when you're making movies, you gotta respect the director's vision. And this is Chris's film, so... Don't worry about it. Let's just go again, okay? You did it your way, now we do it my way. Hold still, let me clean you off. And we'll get it on this one. If we don't, you can just make it up to me in my trailer after the shoot. Yeah. Oh, it's like spearmint cough syrup. <laughs> yeah, all my gagging was kind of real. Mm, more you guys want me to leave? All right, all right. On your feet, people. Everybody back to one. We're going again. We are going again. Okay, sound speeds? Um, uh, camera speeds. All right, everybody settle. And hold. And hold. And action. Uh, uh. <laughs> Fuck! No! Oh, dude, that is not good. What do you think you're doing in here? Oh, hi, Mr. Green. Sheriff. Sheriff, right, sorry. How many times have I told you to stay away from this place? We were just in the middle of a take. A take? For our film production. You can't shoot a movie in here. But this is where the big climax happens. This is a condemned steel mill, Mr. Rivera. And you are trespassing. Now, unless you want to spend the night locked up in jail, I suggest you, Miss Castle, and Miss... Dixie. Miss Tammy D. Dixie. Miss Gordon. Miss Christine Gordon. I suggest you immediately vacate the premises. And you do not, under any circumstances, set one foot back here in the Cedar Still Mill. Ever. Ah, uh, reluctant. Apologetic. Let's do that. Oh, man. Sir, we're really sorry. We, we didn't realize we were doing anything wrong. We'll clear out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hi, May. We've got a movie to finish. I know, but we have to do what the sheriff says. He's the sheriff. I don't care who he is. He And we're very happy to do whatever the sheriff asks. And, uh, don't forget to clean up. What are we supposed to do with a busted up camera? You get it fixed. Finish your movie. Anywhere else but here. What the hell crawled up his ass? Nah, uh, he's not so bad. Usually. We're not gonna do what he says, right? Really? We can figure out how to finish the movie when we get back to the garage. Out, sir. Thank you, Jaime. Now remember what I said. 
because I'm not going to warn you again. Yes, sir. So we're back to the 80s. This is pretty cool right now. Ugh, what a complete and utter disaster. Don't be so dramatic. It's not like we've got a real deadline. Ugh, who needs a real deadline when every wasted second brings you closer and closer to your ultimate cosmic eternal deadline? Gothic? I like it. Hey. What are these? Oh, I got those for us all to wear when we shoot. Surprise. Wait, you guys are both acting. So, it'll just be me? So you'll be like our ambassador. <laughs> yeah, not a chance. Hmm. Whoa, 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 don't open that up. I still haven't taken the film out yet. I thought it was broken. Well, yeah, the lens is cracked, but the footage is still good. Unless, you know, you open it. Ugh, whatever. We got some good stuff today. Glass half full. Dude, just let me be upset. <sighs> Doesn't Sheriff Green have anything better to do with his time? Like, go after actual criminals and shit? Cedar Hill is not exactly a noted hotbed of criminal activity. That's not entirely true. There was that whole serial killer thing. Hold up, what now? When was this? Uh, I was just a baby. I don't really know anything about it. Oh, you're still just a baby. And you still don't know anything. Now, be a good little baby and tell me all about this whole serial killer business. I know some stuff. Spill it, lady. For starters, I think that's why Sheriff Green doesn't want us to go in the steel mill. Oh yeah, that's where it all went down. So you do know stuff. <gasps> and you held back, you traitor. Yeah, because I knew you'd get all like this. Hell yeah, I would. Linda, tell me about the steel mill killer. Well, that's where it all ended. But before that, there was a whole string of disappearances. Kidnappings, really. Murders. So what was this guy's name? Maybe we should write him into the movie. Oh, I don't know if we... Frank Stone. Huh. So Frank Stone was actually killing people in the steel mill? Like, our steel mill? Where we were just shooting like an hour ago? That's the theory. Frank was working at the mill, but... I think it was on its last legs by then. Probably not a lot of people around. They shut it down right after. Who were the victims? Just people. Some from the town. Some were never identified. The killings were random. There was no pattern. Like, how many are we talking? No one knows for sure. Because they never found the bodies. They found parts. Seriously, guys, I just want to know why you withheld all this crucial murder mill information from me until now. It wasn't relevant? There's no world in which that's true. I need to know everything. That's pretty much all I know. Same. <sighs> There's got to be more to it. You've got a library card. Look it up. Linda, can I borrow your library card? Nope. I guess it doesn't really matter what happened at the mill since we can't finish shooting there with a busted camera. Hey, why don't we just take the camera to the drugstore and see if we can get it fixed? So, yeah, the thing is, I kind of spent the rest of the budget on the t-shirts. Unless you know of anybody looking to get into film finance, we're kind of shit out of luck. <laughs> Ugh! 
What? Uh, um... You want a piece of me, too? Hey, you okay? What's up? Nothing, it's fine. Mm, didn't sound fine. As soon as Mom got sick, I dropped everything in my whole life in New York to come home and help. And all he does is act like I'm not doing enough. It's like he doesn't even care what I had to give up. I'm sure he's just worried about Mom. Yeah, so am I. That's why I'm here. The least he could do is try not to ground me like I'm 16. Totally. What is he thinking, right? Sorry, I guess I just needed to blow off some steam. I get it. The last thing Mom needs is for us to be screaming at each other. That's true. Yeah, and you've been doing an incredible job. I mean it. I, I don't know what we'd do without you. Uh-oh. What? What? Linda, where's the Jaime bell? <laughs> ring, ring. What's the Jaime bell? My... Darling brother has the tendency to uh, lay it on a little thick whenever he's about to ask for a favor. No, I'm just speaking from the heart. Okay, what do you need from me? Um, well, we're making this movie and we're so close to finishing, but we just need a little extra bit of money. Of course you do. What else is new? What Jaime's trying to say is our camera got busted today and we need a few bucks to get it fixed. Ouch. How much do you need? Just like 20 bucks would probably cover it. 20 bucks? That ain't pocket change. We don't really know the extent of the damage and there's parts and labor and all sorts of hidden fees when you're getting something repaired, so... So you're just trying to get as much cash out of me as possible? No, 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 that, that's not what I mean. Even if you could spare, like, ten bucks, that'd really help. So, hypothetically, let's say I help you out. What do I get out of this? If I may offer a suggestion, Jaime, why don't you take over some of Bonnie's chores? Uh... Hmm, enticing. Oh, man. All of my chores, no complaints. <sighs> yes, ma'am. Then I think... We got a deal. Wise decision. Don't try and weasel out of it, either. Pleasure doing business with you. Pleasure's all mine. You all right there? You're looking a little, uh, wiggly. I'm fine, it's just... Uh, what is in that fake blood? I think it's just mint-flavored real blood. Oh. It did say to avoid any prolonged skin contact. You washed it all off, like, right away, right? Uh, you don't think it's, like, actually poisonous, do you? It's a horror movie, Jaime. Anyone could go... Yeah. ...at any time! <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully there's enough time to fix the camera before they close tonight. I'm not sure the drugstore clerk will even know how to fix it. Hey, think positive. It's not like there's anywhere else in town we could take it. What? What about there? I thought that place was condemned. Guess they got a new tenant. Do curiosity shops even repair cameras? There was a place like that near my grandfather's house. The owner used to tinker with all sorts of old junk. You never know. I bet they have some rad old junk, too. Your call, Chris. Curiosity shop or... Why not? I certainly am curious regarding said shop, eh? Yes, I get it. Lead the way. Like straight watching a movie right now. Man, if I didn't know any better, I'd say this place looks like it's been here forever. And a half. Maybe you should write it in. Don't tempt me. What if the owner is a deranged serial killer who collects wayward teenagers and turns them into antiques? Then we hit the jackpot. Check out the wares. Ooh, cameras. Uh, these look like they've seen better days. They're not gonna put the best ones in the window. We gotta look inside. Uh, 
Too bad. So much for that. We can still out at the drugstore before it closes. And what is it you're looking for? Hello? Hello? We saw the cameras. We're trying to find a replacement for this. Well, of course you are. Please. Come on inside. Now, let me see. I think I have something that may interest you, if I can find it out back. Please, make yourselves at home. Okay. And be sure to have a look around. You never know what treasures you might find. Make ourselves at home? Here? I don't know. I think it's kind of cozy. In a failed capitalist state kind of way. <laughs> Let's see. Could it have been in... Pretty cool store. I was like... Maybe... No city like these type of stores around too much anymore. Where did I put all the... How has this place become such a mess? This. Imagine cuddling up to that at night. Ugh. Who would want to watch this? Creep fest. Yeah, that's creepy. She comes running out straight at us with a giant chainsaw. I'm getting like so bummed out. You're in luck. A very fine item indeed. Yes. Whoa. But may I? I insist. It's pretty old. Possible we could make it work, but it's not exactly what we had in mind. Mm-hmm. Uh, how much are you asking for it? Oh, there's a tiny little price tag on it, but I seem to have forgotten my reading glasses. Why don't you take a look? Ten bucks. Okay, sure. I think that seems reasonable for... Something like this. Thank you very much. Thanks for finding us a camera. Oh, it was no trouble at all. It truly is such a joy to see young people so passionate about the arts. Yeah. Yep, that's us. I'm such a moron. I told my mom I'd pick up some milk on the way home. Oh, do you want me to... Hold this. Be right back. Wait, Chris. We just spent all the money. Emergency sock quarter. Emergency sock quarter? Oh, oh. <laughs> hey. Chris. Robert! Wait, I thought you worked at the library. How would you know? Don't think I ever saw you come in. I got spies everywhere, man. So, Linda. Busted. <laughs> <laughs>
You can always come in yourself, you know. Books don't bite. Uh, Linda's the bookworm. I'm more of a movie worm. Mm, I don't think that's a real kind of worm. Neither's a bookworm. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so we're about to close in like two minutes, so. Oh, right. Yeah, I need to get some milk, but couldn't find any. I got you. One milk. One milk. <laughs> Thanks. No sweat. All right, that'll be 25 cents. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you sure don't see coin like this working in the library. Actually, you don't see any coin. <laughs> it's volunteer hours. Not so bad if you like to read, I guess. Mm, true. We've got a rad horror section, too. Didn't know you were a horror guy. Just books? Movies, comics, too. Whatever I can get my hands on. You know, Jaime and Linda and I are all making a horror movie. Down at the old Cedar Steel Mill. No kidding. We could always use an extra hand if you're into that kind of thing. Uh, super into it. But... Does my dad know you're going into the mill? He watches that place like a hawk. Uh, yeah, we had a little run-in with him today, but we're gonna sneak back in to shoot the rest. <sighs> Man. I would love to be involved. Involved in what? Hey, Dad. Yeah, uh, Chris was just telling me about a, um, a... We're putting together a fundraiser. To show movies at the library. Okay. You need a ride home? Oh, yeah. Uh, let me just get my bag. Chris. I'm sorry I was a little harsh with you and your friends before. Just wanted to make sure you're taking me seriously. I get it. They told me about Frank Stone. Gotta be a lot of demons in a place like that. When you spend enough time in my line of work, you realize every place has got its demons. You ready? Take care. Hey, hey, hey. I can get you back into the mill without him knowing. Just say the word. Let's make a movie. <laughs> I have worn many masks over the centuries. Dr. Augustine Lieber was renowned, professional and trusted. Frank Stone confided in me, allowed me to unlock his potential during those dark days in the psychiatric ward. And now, a new guise, a new timeline. A new chance. Giving them the camera, I admit, was unfair, even for me. They couldn't know what power they held in their hands, nor what cruelty awaits them in the steel mill. But what true creator wouldn't suffer for their art? Was another nightmare? Edge. 
Bad dream? Ugh. How long was I out? I... I don't even remember falling asleep. Fifteen... twenty minutes? <sighs> Seems like it was a pretty intense dream. Maybe... yeah, I'm used to it. Wait... what happened to Augustine again? She left. L left? She said she had to do something very urgently in her private reliquary. Hey, now that we're all awake again, can we forget about Augustine for a minute and talk about the a thousand foot long elephant in the room? A thousand, oh. A thousand feet is the average length of film in a movie? Oh. Guess we were all playing it close to the vest before, huh? It's not my film. I, I didn't, I just worked on it, didn't direct it. It's not even on my official filmography. I meant how we were all holding back about our film strips. Oh, right. Whether you take credit for it or not, it's definitely the most infamous project that's uh, associated with you. Cursed film collectors have been unsuccessfully searching for any trace of it for years. And now we are all here, each with our own little slice of a mysterious pie. It's a pretty big deal. So all of our film strips, they're part of this movie you and your friends made, Linda? If they're not fakes, yeah. Mine's not fake. And all that stuff you said about it being cursed? Murderous rages, CIA interrogation, total disassociation with reality. Because it's so rare, only a few people know for sure. So is If Augustine wants the only known surviving pieces of it, <laughs> she's gonna have to pay up. Why do you think she wants it so bad? I mean, it's not really cursed, right? I prefer not to dwell on the past. We're here, someone's offering to buy our sections of the film. That is all I'm concerned with right now. Providence goes a long way towards a successful sale. So do motives. I don't know about you, but I would very much like to know why Augustine is so desperate to get her hands on this film. Well. First rule of business is to gather every bit of intel you can on your opponent. And I don't know about you two ladies, but I have been itching to get a little look-see around this big old house of curiosities. <laughs> Are we allowed to look around? What do you say, Director? Want to keep sitting around, or want to peek behind the curtain? What are you waiting for? <laughs> oh, now this is a real bold statement kind of room, you know what I mean? Huh. New Augustine got cash, but not like this kind of cash. <laughs> Sounds like you didn't scout your mark as well as you thought. In business, we don't call them marks. Hustling is a racket, not a business. I wouldn't underestimate my scouting skills, if I were you. <laughs> but rattling around up here, that could be mutually beneficial. Why don't you tell me how you know so much about Murder Mill? I'm a big fan. <laughs> it's your first credit. Cut the shit, man. Okay. You want to know the truth? When I first heard about it, I didn't believe it was real. But the more I looked into it, the more breadcrumbs I found. And the further I followed the trail, the more fascinated I became. Not just in the film, it, in the legend. Whether you meant to or not, you created a monster with this movie. Even if it isn't really cursed, the fact that everyone believes it is makes it real. Believing in something doesn't make it real. Well, that's why I had to find out for myself. Took me a couple years, but when the opportunity came for me to actually acquire a genuine piece of it, I... I jumped at the chance. And just how did you acquire it, exactly? Hey, uh, just catching up. So, what have you guys found? Not much. But the night's young. Not as young as you think. 
Let's keep looking around. All right, guys. So we get more in depth about the story. We went back into the 80s. So let's see in the next episode what goes on. This has been really good, actually. It's very, like, more movie-based. I feel like I got more cutscenes so far than the quarry. But let's see in the next one, guys. Catch you then.